welcome back to the UK Brick Builder channel. Um, I've got uh, a few little bits I'm going to do to one of my standard Lego modulars just to change it up a little bit. Um, I have done a few bits before and I think I did a quick run through video on it from memory. Um, so I have got if anyone recognises him, the singer from the downtown diner. And what I thought I would do was add a second musician into the recording studio's level of the downtown diner. We also have a, this was from a Lego friend set actually, a music note that I'm going to use as a sign. So let's slide these to the back. Bring in my bag of bits so we can have a look and see what's going on. So I'll take the roof off. And we shall make a make a start. I'm going to add a proper floor to the recording studio. So, what I've done so far is sort of stage one or stage two because I've done some other bits to this one already. Um, so, what I've added is just a single colour floor with a couple of jumper plates so that they can have standing locations for the figures. Um, see, like I say, this is sort of like a, a stage two. Um, and that is because of this original friend set. Um, so what I thought I would do, because it makes quite a, a good sign, is stick it on the diner. That should clear the floor below from memory. Um, one, two, yes, that one will. So it was like a friend's recording studio set. So what I have done is I have used some of the extra bits from it. If you look down here, we have two, speak two of the speakers from it in the studio there. Um, I've added an extra bit of mixing table. Um, I have got this sticker that I'm going to I'm going to use it. Oh, I've put a mounting bracket in there. Um, but the biggest thing I did with all of those bits and pieces left over from the set was I put a couple of extra speakers in the recording studio part. So when the the roof is all clipped on. If you look up there you can see 
the speakers for the recording studio. I know the window is not the easiest to see through, but I think that makes quite a nice addition. And just adds a little bit of extra colour and finish to the to the build. And I've got some of these spare for my next project, which is always a a bonus. I was going to do a fancy, slightly more fancy rounded floor, um, but then I realised that. I didn't really have anywhere to put the figures then, so I stuck with something quite plain and boring. Yeah, but it's a nice addition. So if you want to see more of my adaptions to the Dyna set, uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, and come back for the next video. Thank you.